Hello guys, welcome back to the Watch Coconut channel. Today I have another rather interesting piece to show you all. Chances are you probably have never seen this exact watch before, but that's exactly why I'm here. First, let me briefly introduce you about how I came to purchase this watch. As a fellow watch enthusiast, you may have had the same experience as me. My first ever watch purchase was a fashion watch. I thought it looked good at the time, pretty clean and minimal, but after learning more about watches, I realized I could get a lot more with a similar amount of money. I then got myself an automatic watch, brand new, and then I got some more, some with complications, some used, I even went vintage. But after a while, in my case a few years, I wanted to try something a little different. That's when I discovered vintage Seiko watches. Seiko made a lot of watches in the past. So many style, so many variation, including this one, an LCD watch. But before we get to LCD watches, digital watches back then mainly used LED technology to display the time. As most of you probably know, LED emits light when activated. And when something emits light, it consumes energy. In order to prolong the battery life, LED watches usually require users to manually press to activate the light whenever they want to see the current time. LCD watches on the other hand do not emit light, rather they are light receiving. They can always display you the time with minimal battery consumption. As a result, in 1973, Seiko released their first LCD watch to the market. The only problem with LCD watches is that they can't be read in the dark. Unlike LED watches that emit its own light, LCD watches need a backlight or an external source of light to display time. And here we are with this watch. Seiko released this watch right here in 1978, five years after the initial release. The Seiko Quartz LC reference number A159 dash 4039 measures in at 34 mm wide, 39 mm lock to lock, lock width of 20 mm and a thickness of 10 mm. As shown by the text on the dial, this watch has several functions included beside the time tally. Indicated on the lower left side of the dial, by pressing the lower left button, you can cycle between different modes, stopwatch, alarm, and time setting modes, while the top left button activates the light for reading in the dark. In the default time telling mode, you can press and hold the top right button to see the date and the month, lower right button to see the time for the alarm, and press both buttons to turn the alarm sound on or off. In the stopwatch mode, top right button starts and stops the stopwatch while the bottom right button laps and resets. In the alarm and time setting modes, top right button selects what you want to adjust, the hour, minute, the date, or the month, while the bottom right button performs the adjustment. Personally, I think the watch looks great. If you're like me, a little tired of the usual mechanical watches, a watch like this is a nice change. The Seiko Quartz LC has this retro look that's pretty rare to see today. It's the kind of look I would imagine someone like Bill Gates would wear while creating Microsoft in his garage, you know what I mean? It's not like the modern day G-Shocks that make you feel like you need to go explore the rainforest, climb up the mountain or something. The bracelet has an alternating finishing between brushed and high polish in this horizontal U-shaped style. Which is pretty refreshing for someone like me who's tired of the more commonly found Oyster and Jubilee style bracelets. Also, since this is a battery powered watch, it's kinda reassuring to know that even if you haven't been wearing the watch for a long while, it will always be ready to go. There's no need to wind the watch or set the watch every time you want to wear it. So what do you think? Do you like the watch? 
I think it's a nice change for someone who mostly collect mechanical pieces. Do you think you'll give it a try? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.